Hello students, in this video we'll see several examples of using multinomial coefficients. So we recall the number of ways to arrange and objects if then objects are broken into classes with n1, n2, and k, where n1 plus n2 plus n k equals n elements all indistinguishable is n choose n1 n2 n k and you can compute this as n factorial over n1 factorial, n2 factorial, nk factorial. And so let's see some examples of how we would use this. So here's the first example. How many ways can you arrange a deck of cards if the suit doesn't matter. I.e., you group the same number or face together. So all the threes are treated as an indistinguishable class, all the kings are an indistinguishable class, etc. So what we have is we have a total of 52 cards and you have four aces those are all in the same class. You can't distinguish any class because you don't care about the suit. You have four twos, you have four threes, etc. You have four kings. And so we see over here that there are 13 of these different suits. 13. And 13 times 4 is equal to 52. And so what we can see now is we can use this formula. So there's a 50, total of 52 factorial possibilities. And then each sort of class has four members. So I have a four factorial, a four factorial, a four factorial, all the way down to four factorial. And there's a total of 13 of these four factorials. And this enormous number is the number of ways that we can arrange a deck of cards where suit doesn't matter. So, if we do one more example, how many ways to rearrange math matches? So we have this made up word, math matches, and I want to find the number of ways to rearrange this expression. Well, we have different letters over here. So we have the A's, and we have a total of two A's. So that's one A and then another A. We have a total of, we have two M's. So we have two M's. That's one another class. We have a total of two T's. We have a total of two H's. We have a total that we've used all these, and now we have a C, we have one C, we have one E, and we have one S. 
So how many number, how many letters do we have total? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So if there's eleven total. So the answer to this problem will be eleven factorial over two factorial. That counts for the A's. Two factorial for the M's. Two factorial for the T's, two factorial for the H's, one factorial for the C's, one factorial for the E's, and then one factorial for the ones. And you can simplify this or we can just leave it in this form, and that tells us the number of different ways to rearrange the letters in math matches because the letters, for example, M and M are indistinguishable. Likewise, if the suit doesn't matter, the ace of hearts and the ace of clubs are the same card because we don't care about the suit. Similarly with the twos, the two of clubs and the two of diamonds are the same, indistinguishable from that perspective because they're both twos. So these M's over here are exactly the same. The A's are exactly the same. And so the number of ways to arrange them, we use this multinomial coefficient, n factorial over n1 factorial, n2 factorial, n3 factorial, all the way up to nk factorial. In future videos, we'll see how we can write down the multinomial theorem and how we can track the coefficients using this formula. Thank you very much.